And welcome to the Let's Play for Infinity Blade. My name is Michael. Uh, this is my first uh, Let's Play, so please forgive me for any mistakes I make. I, uh, feedback is more than welcome in the comments uh, and, and elsewhere. Um, now, Infinity Blade is a, a newer game. It's developed for the iOS platform, which basically is the operating system used for Apple's mobile devices. So that's the iPod Touch, the iPhone, and the iPad. Now I'm playing it on the iPhone, and more, more particularly the iPhone 4, the, the latest version of the iPhone line. And thus it has, has the nicest screen and the most hardware packed into that little that little gracious and sexy package that you see before you. Uh, my fingers really make it look even more beautiful because they're, they're ugly and girlish. Anyways, um, as you can see here, um, immediately you're brought into this game. They, it's kind of give you a little, a little demo on just very briefly how to control the fighting in the most basic way, just how to block. Um, and then, of course, after you, you've done what they, a couple blocks and taken a few swipes, the cutscene takes over. So really, you know, they just want you to get a feel for it, and then here's what happens. Ugh, you're dead. And really, this isn't you. It's some weird way that you get to take over your, your father, because this is your father, and the whole point of the game is avenging him, the originator, the one with the idea to take down this tyrant, who is the god king you, you see with that glorious blade. And that is the infinity blade itself, which eventually you'll get to use if you're patient enough with this game so that's the premise your father is killed and then you, the bloodline number one begins which is this is actually you it's 20 it begins 20 years later and you've inherited his traits and his his lovely hair and his you even have the same armor and weapons that he had um, so you set out uh, back to this in this castle where he was defeated 20 years prior and you have to travel through it make your way through it and uh, defeat the minions before you can find your way to the god king and challenge him to avenge your father's death so i've begun the first bloodline here um as you can see the game just it looks great if if you didn't see the the iphone if this was direct feed you might be fooled into thinking it was, I don't know, maybe a lower budget Xbox 360 title. Um, and this is, it's using the Unreal Engine, the third version of it, which is uh, develop, developed by Epic Games. Um, the actual developer for this game is Chair, and they've done a pretty decent job. Um, of making it. So here, anyways, we're facing off against the first minion, uh, where uh, you can block and they teach you to to dodge left and right, which is a good way of avoiding attacks. However, you have to think, you actually have to think pretty quickly to see which direction the minion is attacking from. If he's using his, he's coming down on, on one side, you want to dodge. Dodge a certain way. If he's coming down another way, you want to dodge a certain way. Because there won't always be a straight down attack. They might attack from the right or from the left. And they can be swiping from underneath and from over overhead. So you have to think on your feet with whether you want to dodge, whether you want to block. You'll see later you can parry as well. Um, but it's, it's very simple and it's very easy to get used to the controls quickly and they ease you into it really well so that obviously you could see I didn't really struggle with that fight um, there I, I, I hadn't actually beaten the game um, through this playthrough you've seen I've actually played it quite a bit um, more after all these these videos I've put up but I did have some prior experience so maybe your first might, fight might not go quite as fluid but it's really not hard to get a hold of um, and then after you you fight your minion or you defeat him, you're given XP, and that XP is actually divided equally and divvied out to 
the five of your items that that you always have. You always have a helm, you always have armor, your weapon, shield, and a ring. A uh, ring is, is for magic, which you'll be introduced to later. Um, again, just looking at, you know, it's, it's really nice that uh, you don't even quite get the how beautiful these, these beautifully rendered these graphics are until you actually see it first person but um, even still it's, it's an impressive feat so you don't actually move your character around you don't walk around or wander you can look around which is easy enough to do with your finger and then you point you point your finger on these blue circles there's only a few of them through and they tell you your character what to pick up or where to go or who to fight um, here you can see when you're going up against a monster, you can see the info. It tells you their level, what type of, of monster they are, and it'll also, if, if applicable, show you the magical attributes they have, which is stuff like fire and ice and, and poison damage. Um, which is useful to know before the fight because you can switch out your items uh, to better combat that that monster's attributes so here they're just showing you again how to uh, do uh, parrying and striking uh, and each fight is broken up into kind of three stages the first stage you'll do enough damage to the monster he'll get knocked back you see a cutscene then you'll do more damage then you'll get knocked back again Grr, he's mad and then you do the final blow and you have a glorious um, cinematic scene where you just completely slaughter slaughter him make him look like a complete buffoon and you'll get finishing bonuses which just gives you more XP makes your level go up etc etc so that is it for this let's play infinity blade uh, video. This is just part one though. I'll have uh, several more parts to this uh, series, so please check back in a, in a couple days. Uh, I'll put up links to the other videos once they're available. Uh, in those I'll be go going over further aspects of the game, including magic, uh, further, uh, further discussion in, of the, the combat system, looking at all the other monsters. I'll be playing through the the entire game basically at least well the first bloodline you'll see um, which is all you really need to see so until then uh, this is Michael and uh, you guys have a good one I'll talk to y'all later